Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our Facebook Live with Jared from Mona, who's come to talk to us tonight about how we create the best self-portrait we can for our hashtag Facebook uh, Faces of Dyslexia 2021 campaign. So welcome, Jared, and thank you for your support. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be part of it. So Jared's one of our four judges. Can you um, talk to us a little bit about what you think makes a good self-portrait? We've had um, one of our other judges on talking about a selfie, so it'd be good to hear your perspectives as well. Look, I, I, th I guess the most important thing for me to start with in, in terms of defining what I'll... And, and I'll talk from my perspective as what I'll be looking at and, and what I'll, my, my, I'll be thinking when... I'm assessing the images and one of the key things for me for people who, who think about doing their addressing self-portraiture is to remember that I don't know you, um, I won't meet you, um, I mean so what I need or what I'm looking for is something in the image that gives me a little clue, gives away something to me um, or even might create mystery um, but it's something that tells me more about the you than just what you look like so um you know there's, there's lots of famous portraits throughout art history where artists have inserted themselves in scenes anonymously that art historians have then discovered later down the track through research there are some really obvious ones um such as Rembrandt of course is a famous um, self-portraitist so giving me a little clue, a little hint as to what your character is, who you are, who you think you are, or who you want to be is really important. And that sounds like a really good tip because um, it's really about people expressing themselves. It doesn't have, they don't have to show their face if they don't want to disclose who they are, but um, expressing what it's like to live with dyslexia. So it's um, a great tip for people to be able to show a clue of themselves in whichever way. Absolutely, we're looking for stories. Paintings, drawings, photographs, art is storytelling in its most basic description. So I'm looking for your story. And it's wonderful because it sits with our theme of um, we use storytelling to change the world. And because we couldn't do our gala this year, um, we're using art as our form of storytelling. And so I'm really glad that you you mentioned that. For those of you those who don't know you, can you just give us a little bit of background of um, the work you do and the famous Mona that you work with at the moment? Sure. Um, well, I, I'm the senior curator at Mona here in Hobart. Um, I've been here for seven something, maybe more than that, years. Um, and before that, I was in Melbourne uh, where I had my own gallery for... Um, 15 years and also was a um, student and then became a uh, part-time tutor and lecturer at Melbourne University in the Art History Department. I also have done some lecturing around the art schools in Melbourne, um, VCA, Monash, RMIT, etc. So I've got an extensive background in um, learning, teaching um, and thinking about art and my job Nowadays, uh, it is currently very busy um, thinking about art and the way we display it, um, what we want from it, what, what I might want from it, um, what artists have got to say about it. I spend a lot of time thinking about, um, and so things are things are busy and things are good in, in that respect. Sounds like a wonderful, um, inspiring job, and very creative. It is a very creative job. I mean. You know, like a lot of jobs I do, unfortunately, have to spend time looking at spreadsheets, which doesn't excite somebody like me. Um, but, you know, uh, such is life. Um, but, I, I'm, you know, there are great creative outlets that, um, for my brain um, as opposed to, to things that I really I have to work hard at. So it's a, a very rewarding. And what was one of the reasons why you decided to um, support our Faces of Dyslexia campaign? Um, recently, meaning a couple of weeks ago, we went through a process um, with um, some of the people in Hobart and the schools here assessing my daughter who has and then come back with a, an assessment of dyslexia, which we thought was was an issue. And so we worked hard with, with her and uh, some of the experts here to 
um, get a clear understanding of whether that was the case and that was the case. So as a result, you would imagine it's become a topic um, in our house that we talk about a lot, think about a lot, uh, read about a lot. Um, and so it just was an opportunity that was put in front of me in a very timely manner. It was very timely and we're so wonderfully pleased to have you on board. Um, before we finish up, are there any other tips or suggestions for our listeners or viewers around what they can be doing for their self-portrait? We've got an amazing eight pieces up online. We're, we were hoping for 31, so we, we've extended the date till uh, the 21st of September to get some more art pieces through, but what's currently up there is amazing um, and really showcases a variety of ways of expressing.